Robin and Thompson's game surface and Sadly Scare. This is another NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. We're ready to show you how it is. And we're back for another game. This next matchup as we have Miami Heat facing against the Cleveland Cavaliers as we have this part of an ever game game ready for you on the other side. If you've already seen the Thunders and the Wolves, it's gotten pretty close already, but it looks like the game six could be the next stop for them on its way down. But at this time, it's going to be happening now. We're going to see what goes in in between the Heat and Cavaliers. The next commentary I will have across on the other side is all for the next one that's underway. Boomer along with Tyler Beast and the first commentary is Paul Point Pen. And in between Alley LaForce and David Aldridge, we'll be seeing them on the sideline very shortly as the other side will be on its way soon. Let's get cracking here. Keenan Cavaliers starts now. It's a tied series 2 2. Next one for the lead will be 3 2. Let's get going, folks. Enjoy. Alright, let's have a look and see what's going on with the top plays of the year with your finalists. Right in between. Everyone's as we start things over, as we've got a great look in between right now, if you take of how this turns to be, a great way to have a finishing off and show us who you got for our next top plays of the game. And this one will win 1 million VCs. Here they are. Your finalists are on the court. First choice of the feeder as we get this thing settled, it's the random wizard. He does one in his way with the damn jump down. Off push right in the second, it happens to be what there is to go take it over right in between. The second one is under now in the wreck. It became Airbox at X656 that does this kind. While goes over the ring and taking a poster in his own. He has made this one a great win, all with a great opportunity range. So these are your last two, and you will be seeing these on the lineup. Thanks for all of your support. We couldn't appreciate that everyone who really appreciates them. And this is where you can choose to add a better range of that. Head to my TV, and you'll be seeing what goes in. And we'll see you all later. On to the game. Let's fans, and now time to hear your start line for your Cleveland. Right? This goes back the airway. 
Now you can take you on the other side. Just screen. I have a move for three. The boys don't go. Now it's going back the other way, and it's out of bounds. This one goes to the ball with 725 left to go. Not a special start out there because they are not even expecting what they all have to play for. You don't have the right to mess, mess things up. But to do this, you got to have it out here. Messing it over doesn't mean that they can't let them let it play. Okay, let's go over the ball. Finds the pass. Bitch up, and the layer picks it in. Now he's supposed to play in game five after Garland with the assist. The pass from him doesn't mean that it doesn't really come along that well. But playing it was not really easy. When taking it in between, you got to make sure you have that right moment. All right. With a step back. On a layup. Great deed by Adebayo as Allen with the step with the rebound and back to ball. Blue Series Garland trying to move around in. Pass over to Allen. With the shot, layup. Misses. Target back the other way. The rebound puts it in. Pay the shot. Up and over the lane. It's missed again by Jared Allen. What a better play special in here. They were really are making this one a lot of the harder ways to make a drive out of it. It seems like impossible to do it right away for the moment. Here's another drive attempt. It's missed again. Here it's going with that rebound. Back the airway. It's 6.35 left to go. And it's been stolen by Jimmy Butler. Here's Butler with the attack now finding to get an estimate. Here's the attacker by Adebayo. On a two-point range inside, and this one's fouled by Jeremiah Mahomes. That was the first foul for the Cleveland Cavaliers. This was not playing really well with the Jim. You really are not really playing off the hard enough. You've got to play what the right is. That foul is going to be a little bit earlier in the range, but that's what I always saw that. There he's starting. He's not picking it up along the way. Got to do it on tape. First trip of the free throw line will be Bam on a bio. That's right now the heat will grab the, the first free throw. This is what it does. This is the first free throw. You see, on is really hard enough to make the center out of it, but the better it is, he's playing it for so long. And for many of our teams here, since they couldn't get their team into the NBA Finals, for the Pirates, so they missed their for this year's postseason after a loss against the Boston Celtics in the first round. It just happened that Bam Adebayo was making his set career goals, but last year he made it all the way down to the NBA Finals. It was a fair way, but they haven't done. Yeah, you can speak to yourself here for Bam Adebayo. You have to really play for all that consequences. The better than it is, you got to play for your own right time game, and you got to do the right work, and you got to get up. Here's Mitchell. On the drive with Makiro. This is the target. This one is off again. The hero with the rebound gets again up. Oh, they're now finding the hero. And a chance out to Adebayo. Here's it. Here's it over to Jimmy Butler. With the screen. I'm on the bike. With the finishing drive. Up and around him. Adebayo will grab it back. Open look for your three. And as Heisman makes a three-pointer on the outside. And it's now a four-to-two game. Five three five left to go. First one. Quarter of the game. Misses out. Biggest son of a Mitchell. The shot for three. And it goes eight. Reach again. The back to back score in the game. And this one goes now a 5 4 game. Not really what you always expected now, but that's what you always need to do. Gotta keep playing. And a great track and drive for Bam on the He has the left second player of the night. Now he's another take. For Don Mitchell. Time on the ball by Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a 5-0-7 left, 6-5 game. Well, you know what happens now because they don't really want to talk it over. They've got to make sure that everyone is getting in there at the right sort of moment. They really are doing this. But I don't know if this is possible. They really are trying to let somebody else get in by, but that quick off moment doesn't really happen to most of them. I was pretty sure that they were really trying to let, let someone take it over with the advantage, and they wanted to let that one get right to it. But they couldn't play it like they really did. Because Miami Heat, they should play this game, but they didn't really do the best effort they can. Yeah, I was really like very disappointed for the, for the Cavaliers. They, they really are frustrated in there. I was really sure that they are trying to like let them lose. The attacker is, nobody has that one made perfect down. 
He's on the fish that's on the board right now, and it's, there's another good shake there for the offense and defense. While we have a look right now, let's have a look here for our Miami Heat. They're in third place, 108.4 and opposite points a game this season. They're in third place. Well, as you, at least you can definitely just try to like let them do, do the hard work, pay it off in there, and let them know how you can handle it. Because if you don't have the right choice option, you gotta make it work. And here's a chance, Allen for three. And it makes it in for the triple range. Another three-pointer on a ranking mark. And it's now an eight to six game. Just look at how that am able to answer it. They were really nervous and you gotta make sure they can get this one at a great time. Here it is, gotta do the best things he can. Jimmy Butler trying to show it over again over here. And here's another one for Iceman. The three for Butler. Shoot from outside, ties this game for him. And this one now back up in the lead, 9 8. There is Scarlett right to her in the wing. Passes over to Allen. Nice swing to Garland. Range in to Shrews. Passes over to Allen. Allen. Try to gets up with a shot. Misses the target and it goes right over again to Iceman. On his rebound, not finding it over again to Rozier the third with a cutting drive. It's good. Rozier has a scores bucket. Now it's a three point game as you're up by three. There is Scarlett. Up and alley oop and he makes it in. Great pass here for Jared Allen. This one gets it over back as there is Scarlett with the assist. Look at how that house it is. They really are making this in a lot of appearances. They are really trying to like a scoop in that can't happen. This was very high hard and pressure. They are really innocent. They've got to play it well, get it done correctly, and of course, you know what anyone trying to like defend it. Dude Butler, another attacker. This is the target. On the bio with a rebound now fighting to get a hero. Hero swings again to Rogier. The third. On the cut and drive. And this goes in. Rogier with the second bucket. It's a 13-10 game. Just keeping it in there. They were really loving the heat. They love to pressure it out. I just really say that this one keeps it going. Let's make this one clear. They really are pushing their pace to the limit. And that score is no longer up. Drew Murray misses in for Evan Mulu. On the will now have it over again to Drew Butler. Butler now swings it over. On the bio right to the wing. Here's the cut. On his way in motion for two. Misses again as Mulu with a rebound. Under three minutes remaining in the first. Good to score line now finding shoes. Back to Rome. Here's the cut. Range again. Back stepper. Goes in. That's another two pointer for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Out of your number two pointer right now is Miami Heat. Dropping it down by one. Well, this is not what they all can't do. They get really out of this lane. That one goes back in question. Man. Who are not really just making a happy living. But that pushes up the upset and features it. They're really making this in a lot of painful. They do not really like it how this one turns out. I really love that. I mean, you gotta do what you do. Because if you don't do it that one correctly, you gotta get that out of here. And we just all have to say right now, can we say a big congratulations to the Boston Celtics. They're making their way to the NBA Finals, and this is what they all do. They are playing against the Mavericks for the 2024 NBA Finals of the game. And we expect it. We really are seeing what goes on, and hopefully by then, it's going to be a great day to have another ball. Hey, let's say this. I think the Boston Celtics are going to win the finals. Let's see if they're in. Uh, I'm going to say Luka Doncic for sure. I'm going to say that Luka is going to win this one. I think he wants to bring the team up ahead, show the upset, and bring the team better back in energy since 2012. So here's the on the court. That's right at the moment. We have Hawkins Jr. He's with right now with Dulon Wright. The other side right now as we got another one taking over, Duncan Robinson, with uh, with Dulon Wright. And Gilrich on the court. The other side for Cleveland Cavaliers is four players have checked out. The four players have checked in as the court. Okoro, Wade, and Yang have checked in. The screen puts him for Hawkins Jr. Over to Hawkins. He makes the first two pointer shot. I see long right with the assist. That one play motion and drive that has to be with the, that has to be done correctly. They really are making this a lot harder. Chances are Hawkins Jr. got to make a shot. Two just looking at two minutes left. And Ray, up on the layup, he makes it in. What a quick pass for Darius Garland. And the fans are a little loud. A 
Uh, we're tuning in to Marine Little Brooks. We have five sockets juniors. And it's stolen by a Cora. A pass over. Joshua wants for a cut. Over the angles. Blocked by Jokic. Hawkins Jr. Off the deal on right. Over now to Hawkins. A great pass and a shot's missed. The Yang has it over again to Okoro. Okoro on the layup. Misses the effort. Hawkins Jr. now has it over. Back to Jokic. Jokic trying to watch it out. In trouble. Martin on the outside. Trying to give over in the middle again to Jokic. Jovic gives again to Martin. Martin stepping up the range for the attack. Inside, it's good. Gala Martin with the first bucket. 17 14 to score. Well, I guess they were never expecting it that day. They really are pushing their way in there. Akash Jr. running to let Kali Martin get in his way. And here's Wade on Akash Jr. not finding to get a ball. Six to shoot with the screen. Back step. In for the drive. And that's another miss by Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, they're missing everywhere right now. I mean, I don't know what's happening now, but they are just keeping it unstoppable. The breath take, they can't really just let anyone lose it. The pass over. Duncan Robinson for three. And he's able to dribble the range in. Just a two pointer on the three point line. 19 14 to score. Billy Scarlett. Two-pointer effort here. And now it's back to Irwin. Each year, the third. Right over here. He's on the long right. Try to let the clock wind down. The long right. Try to go over. Hawkins. Four little jump over a three. And he got it this time. What an excellent shot. That ends the first quarter of the year. Well, you never know that Hawkins uses his three. He got a great start. What an excellent take this is for the Heat. 22 to 16 is the score as the Ed make their way to the end of the first quarter. Then second quarter is coming up right after this break. Boomer, along with you guys, don't go anywhere. We got more after this. And we welcome you back at Rocket Mortgage Field. That's where it's a ready to start the second quarter. As you got a great ones in between, I have a great one set out the rest of our lineups here between the Cavaliers and the Heat. What's your take? Well, just because I'm glad that happened here, the Cleveland Cavaliers are really are trying to work his way on to the next spot. They really are making this one of the appearances that they really need to try something else different. The completion is, everybody needs to have a set of goals of their own. They are really are trying to work it off hard, but I'm hoping there's another change up to be doing good at the contact. With a takeover for Miami, the interior was here with Josh and Jason. And on the way, right toward the middle. And Jimmy Butler right toward the small four position. And finally, the Abbott in is across this Duncan Robinson. Here's Robinson. A finishing dry bar, and he makes a drive in. That will be another two point bucket score for the Heat. It's now a 24 16 game. Here's Sam Morrell. Up and out. Look, and he does it again. Number two, over with a great pass here. Sam Morrell has his first assist of the game. In game five. Yes, I was really lucky. You know, I was really seeing it. That had to be an improvable score taste. I was not seeing that one coming by. You know what? Because they were really what they are noticing that that pass off turned to be an easy look. That better range off is just nothing. I was really noticing that it just happened again. They were really playing that one a lot. Chance here for Mobley. Mobley right toward the middle. On a slant tackle dunk! And he makes that one win and does Jim John. With the reporter from Ellie LaForce. Because right now she has that one calling in. It's, this one will be strapping it in. Jimmy Butler is one of them in a legendary. His better take is the better on his offense. That's to take all of them that he does. He doesn't really have them because all it really needs is to keep the heart, make that feel like they want to get the sun fucking with an strike. This needs constipation on those two. You know, whatever you don't really do, because that happens with one of our most of our most of the players who really got hydrated up, they really need to start on this concentration war. And to be often, they really have to find someone else to get through it. Evan Mobley with another drive. And another ritual with the assist. Now 28-3-2 game with 5.52 left to go. The pass over to Butler. He makes it over. Stepping down for the drive. This is the two. 
Well, where will the rebound? Trying to push his way across. Here's an air take. The bounce pass over to Allen. Allen, bouncing, moving away in. With the shot, drive, and stop. That's the first foul for Terry Lucci in the third. It's first. And then it's first team foul for the Eagles. Now, it must have happened already. Jared Allen is trying to, like, step it in already. That kept being a drive is just not turning what they're supposed to do. You know what happens? Jared Allen, he is really like he wants to attack it, and then get the bucket in. Of course, trip to the free throw line will be Jared Allen with under 5.40 left to go in a second. First free throw misses the target. We congratulate to the other side of it right now for NHL as the Nashville has played in a lot of great results here selling for Roman Newsy's birthday. But as for that, the Florida Panthers made it back to back and they're back into the finals for the second time since they haven't won the Stanley Cup ever year since 2010. Well, I must say now, Florida Panthers are really like the better team. They want to say that New York Rangers can be a sucking hole, and what they've done is, they are really what they are never showing at their respectful behaviors. But I think Florida Panthers, they say, no, we have no rights to do this. I think Florida Rangers should never win this cup, but I think they want to win their cup. I think the Euro has only had a couple of cups, they, they really won't just won once in a and then for Donald Saris, we really are stepping it into it. You know what happens now? I was really seeing you what's going on with that. Really had happened, you know? They don't really just let them not pay it off, and that one has no idea what's going on. They're really showing off that nobody gets this shown by. So I'm hoping that New York Rangers may have a better players in between. I don't know who's going to be, but maybe the contract's in between the different teams on the outside. Probably. Well, you may never know. You may never see what's going on. Probably may be. Better take over. He's Butler for three. Triple Ranger, the outside makes it in. Bad six points for Jimmy Butler. It's a 33-25 game. Well, the hustle is just happening already. I mean, Jimmy Butler, he's like crazy. Now you forget, and oh, Mitchell! Just after Bowman with the assist, and has the timeout left for the Miami Heat with 419 to go. You can't really say what happens after Donovan Mitchell. He just slammed that dunk out of here. Just showing up and only the game. Say hello to my little friend. Bam. You can't be in there for so many times. How can you ever do that, Donovan Mitchell? Well, I have no idea what's going on now. But they can't be leaving that one all their own. I mean, what's the job going to so? Let's a reminder right now as we're nearing the end of the first half. Coming up will be the halftime show as we have this kid who just hit along with Shad O'Neill and Ernie Johnson as he got a great one to take here for the first half of the game. Miami Heat trying to show off and see if they can win this game to head to the conference finals and to play against the Boston Celtics on the winning team. And the other side for the Thunders, will this be a probable matchup right in between? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it is, but let's face the facts out there. It may, may what they're looking at. I mean, you, you may never know what's going to take it to places out there. I mean, I think we might be at something into the finals for sure. I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna bring them on. Well, uh, you don't say. I'm going to say the Celtics come back in. Here we go, substitution here for the Celtics and the Heat. That's right now in a moment here. This is what will give us a good look at static. In between here for Jimmy Butler, 5.3 at a rebound, he's in fourth place. Well, the better uh, of this uh, key performance is how I have for it, and they really expected Jimmy Butler to play it for real. I don't know what's going to keep on happening now, but let's see what he can do if he can try to keep that rebound in. But hold on. And he took that other bucket in. Five spin with another two pointer. And we'll shoot with a third of the new sense. The Cavaliers are trailing by five. Ford Allen, the board senior. Out of by your audit. Over out. Here's a take. For two. Misses the target. Rochia finds it again. To Heisman. Here's the look for Hero. With the strive. Step in good. Hero's got his first bucket down. With 340 left to go. Here's an air take for Donovan Mitchell. 
Mitchell. Showing off the attack, that's it. Bounce pass to Shrews. I find the one for three. Able to eat it, get the ball and fork it down. That's the end of this first two quarter in. Just can't let that center roll get the bucket in there. I mean, you gotta let them out. Gonna drive from Morel for Rogier. Missed two. And now moving will have it again to Morel. Morel pass over. Got it down for Mitchell. For the drive. And it's missed again. Mobley takes it back in. Got down by six. And there's three minutes to go in the first half. Here's Rogier. Here's Hero. Back to Iceman. Five points in the game. Now Butler. The Butler for number three. No over the room. It's missed again for Miami Heat. Oh, they're showing it off. My new Butler wants to silence the crowd here, but it, it didn't really stand, stand out in the right way. I don't know what's going to improve them, but they are not doing well in that ball. After Marcus Moore Sr. with the three, here's the take for Jim Butler. And losing the ball. Back to Butler. Butler with a drive, takes it in with an R2. Butler's got eight points. 39 34 is the score. But we're out calling timeout with only 2.01 to go in the second. Now that we're talking over, when we get a quick break, and get right into this one. Just only 30 seconds on the clock. Losing so positions are on the court right now as we have another takeover here for the Cavaliers and for the Heat. As four players are checked out and four players are checked in. Right now it's Jovic, Stockett, Jr., Martin, and then Wright are checked in. Just two minutes remaining in the first half of the game. And the other side right now is Morel, Graf, Fire, Starline with Carol Sipper, Liang, and Okoro are checked in. Just the time the drive happened to Darius Starline. He may not have been a great look. Now maybe he has a curl, but the assist and that must have been what's going on. Could be like what they are doing. He's like a shooter from the outside. The pass up to be Jovic. He looks over to Tyler Hero with the shot. Chance effort, no good. We'll see him with the rebound back again to Darius Carlin. They're down by three. And it's over to Karis Lebert. Chance and the effort to tie this game. This misses again as Hawkins Jr. with his first second rebound of the night. As they get into the line right. Over down to Hawkins Jr. Hawkins Jr. now finds it again. Over to the line right. Over to two. Misses again. Okoro with the rebound, now back there away. Chance ever back again to Levert. Roll around, the pressure in. Third and two, lay up, no good. Hawkins shooting back in over now to Jovic. Jovic trying to watch out carefully, and now it's Hawkins Jr. Rolls it over, now back to right. Right gives it to Kelly Martin. Four to three, triple range, no good. Back to Isaac and Okoro, and he's away. Takeover. On a great, oh, breakaway on the chain for the defensive effort. A pro with a big slam down. Now it's a 39 38 game. Uh oh. That must have been happening. They land this bit way back in now. We're running 30 seconds. But unfortunately, they're not trying to get a couple more. Pass over. Now gives it over. We get a hockey shooter. Up and over pass. Jovic. Jovic with the two. And he makes it in. Jovic with his first pointer. 14.5 seconds left for me in a second. Here's Darius Scarlett. Loose the ball at court. And now back to Burley. Burley. Attacker. Three pointer for the lead. It's good. They're all tied up now. And here's the chance for the lead. And that's it for the first half. 41 41. Man. And he even came up there. It's going to be the close snap of the ball. And a chance now to send you over to Ali LaForce. Okay, Ali. Coach, it's been a hard fought game. A lot of hustle plays. What gets you over the hump in the second half? Well, we just have to keep on grinding. That's what this kind of game is like. Uh, you know, in many ways, it feels like a playoff game. But those plays right there, ball in the air, ball on the floor, we got we to gotta make sure we're dominating those areas. Uh, and that makes some plays. We'd love to see playoff intensity there in the second half. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you so much right now. As we're being said, we're getting ready to have the second half on our way. So we'll be right with you after this. Halftime shows on. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show.
Hey folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson alongside the Jet. That's Kenny Smith. The Diesel. That's Shaquille O'Neal. A lot of big time action so far in this. And guys for the Cavaliers. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. And the way this one's going, they're going to need the energy down the stretch. It's a tight ball game, and their fans know how to give them a lift when they need it. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? They need to play with better energy on the Heat. These guys are going to speed. Anyway, they've allowed over 50% shot. I'm sure they're here down the locker room. Maybe they'll come out of here. Hey, Kenny, what's your take on the Heat? Well, I'm going to take the Heat. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Let them know. We are back in Cleveland, Ohio, and we're ready to start the third quarter. Got a great status here for Melvin Mobley. Had that one with a great stoppage. This was, was this a better effort here with only one assist, five rebounds, and eight points. Better put back effort, and that put it in. Great moment. Well, you guys let them know, David, because of Melvin Mobley, he really got it off. Hey, better chances, no time safe. Now it's time for the third quarter as the starting boots are on the board as Cleveland Cavaliers bring Garland with Donovan Mitchell. Then Jared Allen in the center. Now Blue Day point four. And Isaac McCoy in a small four. You know, I can't really say about Jared Allen. That Terry Scarlett put up a great effort of the assist. That was really well. Playing that offense wasn't really easy, but they're expecting now. But playing this game, it doesn't really appear at all. For better reasons. A chance to Bam on the bio with a shot around Okoro misses again. And now a chance up for Mitchell. Moving from the outside. Right over to a goal. Spits across for three. Higgins off the rim. And it goes with a dunk. Allen with the number two pointer. Next out back to Rogier. Rogier, pass over again to Hero. Hero with the cutter bound, not finding to get a man on the bio. Let's get a Hero. Hero gets it over to Rogier. The screen helping out for Bam on the bio. Just six and an offensive foul call on the Bam on the bio. Uh oh. Not turning great. Match restricted by his McCoy. Here's a tip. Garland. Bad defensive effort here. It's a 47 41 game. Well, you know what happened now because that's what's going in for Jared Allen. He just made a mess over, and that's what causing Bam on a battle with a turnover, and that one was really bad. You know, you, you don't play that one often really well. And that, that really is turning these over. Bad ones lately. They were really expecting the baby to do something else quickly. And I can't believe that they were really messing up everybody. Jared Allen. Over and over the three. And it's off the rim. And a rebound puts in for Jared Allen. The timeout call by Miami Heat is up. Well, it looks like they're, they're wanting to bring it back anyway. They really don't want to mess things up. They can't leave the mark out of it for anything. With new line changes, we would like to remind you that the NBA playoffs and NBA sports is brought to you by. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Starry Lives. And by American Express. Don't live life without. We can't wait to show you what's happening here at game number six as they got a great match with Terry Mitchell in the, in the alley. That's the next one as we are approaching things down here as we have like only a couple games in between. And only one team as we move it on is the Dallas Stars that make their way to the Western Conference Finals for the first time. And they will be playing against the winning team in between the Vancouver Canucks and the Golden Knights. That will be later. That's happening here at 9.30 p.m. And that game will be a uh, we'll takeover here for the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Bruins. That will be on the other side of Chicago. Going on, right here. Yeah. This matchup won't be easy at all, but this is the moment we're going to take it in before heading the next round or the last chance to go for a sudden death. 
And as the younger side of it right now at this moment, Donovan Mitchell, better for this season. That's the take. You know, I was really sure enough that happened here. Donovan Mitchell was really doing well. Keep playing in there like he's legitimate. He's on fire, not finding it over again. To Butler. Butler watching it over again. The pass cut and bound. Over here, over Garland. And a tough shot makes it in. He has his fourth bucket. And Butler with the assist. 49-43 is the score. Move around the, uh, the corner of the wall. On the court to court. He has strips. On the drive, makes it in. Max Schuster with adding a number two point bucket score. He'll go range in there. And now you're towards you to third. Pass again to Robinson. Robinson, step back for two. And it's good. That's Hucky Mace. Yeah, lucky make it for Dublin Robinson. They're cutting it back down the way. You know, I was really never seen the last night. And Garland makes a drive. And their defensive breakdown for Miami Heat. He has 10 this for tonight. Robinson. Give it over to Rogier. Here's Bowler. A chance for the three. Able to knock it down. Triple ahead. A 53-48 score with under five minutes. Oh, you can definitely say Jimmy Butler has been streaking on his hot hands already. I mean, that's kind of crazy. That's unthinkable. What are they saying now? Jimmy Butler's how cool he is? I mean, he's just like making the three-pointers in there. Do it for two, and he misses to the other one. There he's Scarlett with the attack. Watching right toward in the middle, and the pass to Ali Oop, successful in! 55-48, and it's a stick. Gary Scarland, let's pick it up. Now it's back over to Duncan Robinson. Over again to Heisman. Heisman gives it over to Butler. The three for Duncan Robinson, and he misses again. Here's Scarland. Over now to Mitchell. Mitchell for the two. Misses again. Now it's back to Eric Jimmy Butler trying to spread it across. Back to Adebayo. And Butler. Tough paint, but he misses again. There he is, Scarlett. Trying to get an answer back. Over to Mobley, and he makes it in. Another two pointer. As far as Garland trying to answer it back. Three pointer to go in the first. The pass over not finds high of the snap. Gives it over to get the Butler. Fade the shot. Once again, Kevin like Robinson. Butler from the outside. Now tries to go for it in between his zones. Kevin like Robinson. Trying to pressure it in. Puts it over to Rogier. And Butler. Seemingly nowhere to go. Eat the three. And he misses off. And then off the back court. Turns it over to a shot clock violation. Now with 350 left to go. He had no time to rest. Well, I mean, that's bad luck for now. I mean, that's what it is. Nobody is getting over. Because a lot of defense, there are a lot of pressure out there. Those teams are playing a higher overall rating. Francis, they're just making this one an easy take. And now here's another take from Paris Over oh, with the topping. Gives over to Moura. Moura. The screen puts it in for Devin Wade. Here's a two, up for the try, making it in. It's missed. Jimmy Butler trying to spray it out and off it to Adebayo. That turns over, Oshiro slides it down. It just goes bang. Well, it's a bang bang. That's what happens now, that's Oshir. Where? That's a big on a good play that nobody has ever saw that coming. And that was an excellent move one. Well, not really. An excellent driving dunk presented by AT&T, the 5G slam. Now to take here for Paris LeBurk. Up and again, this is the other way. Josh Richardson with the foul, and this will be his first foul. And first team foul for Ryan. Paris LeBurk at the free throw line, shooting two. I could score the game in between the free throw line and the two-pointer line from the outside of it. As right now, Paris LeBurk trying to look for him ahead. Together by two.
Knocks down a free throw. New substitute two changes right now for the Heat and the Cavaliers. As now three players have come off the court. Marcus Jr., Martin, and Yovich have checked in. And as the other team right now, it's Sam Morrell checking out. And checking back in will be Isaac Okoro. And it's second free throw. Here's Josh Richardson. Over to pass again to Robinson. Robinson over to Josh Richardson. A very triple for three. That's an arm miss by Miami. And a goal. Trying to watch the attackers. Stepping around. Inbound back to Moore Senior with a shot. Makes a drive. And it's now back the air away. Marcus Jr. now finds Richardson. Here's Yovich with a drive. He makes another one again. Richardson, Richardson with the assists. Yovich got a, a great drive in. Better effort is when you're doing it like Yovich, you got a great opportunity to have a layup drive and have a man right to Let's go for it. Cutting in with a drive. Nobody around it. And a three drops it in. George Yang has another three pointer. Here in the 92nd runner mark, he finds it again to Robinson. They cut it back with a drive, makes it in. Another two pointer for Benjamin Robinson, he has eight. Now it swings his over again to the board. Little bit. Now bring it up. The A trying to watch the screen. Step back. Right around the edge for two. And LeBrook does it again. Number two pointer drops it in by. Now we're just simple down to do it over again to Robinson. Robinson pass to Jovic. Over to Kelly Martin. Richardson. Fading a shot. Back to Kelly Martin. Looks it over to Hawkins Jr. Hawkins. Face it. Back to Richardson. Kelly Martin. Burn it for a two pointer. Make the range in. No, makes the buzz shouting the shot clock. And he has Caleb Martin's second bucket for 40 seconds. You know, that's when nobody is thinking the easier right away. I have never seen what's going on. This is what they are not even expecting now. They can't believe it if they're just scoring it right away. And that one has to believe everybody's ability. They've got to try to train it every day. And another three-pointer back again to the Cavaliers. Seven great makes it three. And that time on fall by the BP. I guess they expected they have to talk it over now. I mean, they, they got to try to make some of the to change up anyway. Trail by 10, 69 to 59. Well, 
got to keep scoring in there. They either just need to try to figure this out to get a close work game inbound. Hey, it's everybody's game. Let them up there. And we've come down to the end of the third quarter. Four quarters coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. The NBA playoffs will, be, will resume right after this. And here's a chance now for your state form assistant the game. And just what happens when all the appreciation to goes to Cavaliers. This really has laying that down here, Scarlett. Got a great pass to Jared Allen. That plays a key in strength. Yeah, I was gonna say now, nah, Darius Garland must have had that one great opportunity. I think he will do it again. So far we ended up the fourth quarter as this one will come to end by between the wing, between the Cavs, or the Heat. With the last group in a change off, we definitely do have one of them in between. We're just seeing this with Tyler Hero. And it's Bam on a bio with Jimmy Butler. And Akis Jr. right to the point four. For the two pointers, he makes an arrow one. That's Mitchell with another two-pointer. Now I'm going to take over here for Jimmy Butler to try to give over to Akis Jr. To bounce pass. And stolen. Jimmy Butler trying to roll it in. And Rochier for the triple three. Able to answer it back. 71 to 62 to score. Down by nine. And it's Gary Scarlett. Butler is trying to protect on here. Richardson. And Garland with number two. Another miss by Cleveland. And it's Hero back the other way. Give to Richardson with a drive. And it's good. Hero makes the assist as Richardson has 10 points. You can't really say what happens now. I mean, that's what you always really have to let them go with. Bigger playoffs just doesn't really make it to anybody. And that one really has to cut up with somebody else to keep that range and go. Now to take over to Tyler Hero. Range in the corner, now he gets it over to Akis Jr. And here's another one for Richardson. Jimmy Butler for adding a three, and he carries a triple one again. And he has 14 points. It's now a 73-67 game. Somebody stop Jimmy Butler. He's been shooting so many pointers to lock down at that effortness. He just can't stop doing it. He passed again to Richard. Mitchell with a spin. Bumble with the shot, and it's good. Mitchell, Mitchell with number two. And Al with the assist. Six minutes to go. The cutter finding again Hopkins Jr. Pulls it over to Butler. He looks it over now to Richardson. Trying to watch him on the floppy screen. The bounce pass now finds Richardson. Gives to Hero. The step over for two. And it goes in. Tyler Hero with the second bucket. 75 69 to score. And Garland will have another chance for 5 for Hugo. Here we go in the fourth quarter trying to get Allen up. On cover again to Struz. And Mitchell for the outside. Hero on it. Screen on Allen. And a cut and bound. For a speed over. Oh, look at this play. Donovan Mitchell. Face a shot. I just say, nope, you can't take this over me. I really was never seen with uh, somebody else would do that. But they were expecting that. I can't believe it that he's been looking like he's lucky, man. All that happens now for Donovan Mitchell, he just got the cutting one. Got him crazy. Seven points for Tyler Irwin after making the three-pointer. And here he's going out, fine to get to Donovan Mitchell. Pass to Mobley, missing the shot. And it's off the ball, and it's last touch by Unabayo. And Mobley will bring, bring your team up as now the last touch puts in for Mobley. As now this will be an error take here for Miami Heat. Do you say? Nero and Hopkins Jr. are checked out as Robinson, Rogier, and Ice Cube are checked in. Heat will have the possession. Get her down by five. Robinson, by going outside, and now we'll have it over again to Rogier. And Butler for the wing. Pump the fake. He gets it off to Rozier. Robinson. Pass over to Heisman. For the two. And a great pass by Duncan Robinson. Heisman's got seven points. They're back down by three. Well, this is going to be a 15 to 6 run already. I mean, I don't know. What will they do now? They might need to see what they can get this thing going if they got that one slower. 
Mitchell. On the outside on Robinson. The screen, the spin cut for the two. Great D by Van Alabaya. Now it's Heisman with the ball. And Kohler to tie the game. Yes, he does. Butler with 17 points. And it's Highsmith with the assist. Now that plays in for Jimmy Butler. That's what it's definitely a comeback is. I mean, that must be a close game right now. I mean, they're trying to like show them off the silence of the crowd in game number five. But I'm pretty sure that they're going to keep that alive. There you go. Pass over again to Allen. Garland. On will shoot a third. 321 to go. First step of two, and it's off the range. We've got a man with one lady's foul. Hayward Highsmith with his first personal. An RT foul for Miami Heat. As now it's Mobley with a, with a chance for, for a leadoff score, a 79 to 77 score. First three first, that's Evan for Devin Mobley. That scoring is not going to let someone count by because that Cleveland Cavaliers, they don't really need to step this place up in the game. Maybe they want to have an A grade, like a, a great A, like they need to have a cut motion. They want to play dirty like them. I mean, that's not going to happen like that. And the next second three four makes it in. And he's another take here as we're shooting through it. Trying to find a pass to road to Iceman. The bounce pass over to Anamaya. The pass back to Robinson. Here's Butler on number three. He has 20. Oh man. Nearing the logo of the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. It is now a lead point game. Oh, they are silent already. I can't stand Jimmy Butler. How did they ever get this that far? They're really just like slithering out already. But not anymore. Max Drews made a layup. Time out for my Miami Heat. 2.44 to go. Still lots of time left. It's a close game. 81 80. Be back right after this. Alright, now it's time for New Balance Player of the Game. New Balance Player of the Game for the night goes to Darius Strong. Now, I always say to Darius Scarlett, he's just done really well playing for a better Rippick out there and a better woman than you have to play for. Ever happens to have a point guard? You always get better at this. Just can't believe it what you gotta do, but you can't let that somebody take over. If you play it like the point guard position, you have a better match. The better ranging in there, you're looking for an arc playoff on this goal. If he gets a team up, okay. Heat trying to get back into it. And now the pass over to Van Adebayo. It's stolen by Allen. Here comes LeVert. For the shot, makes it in. After a broken play here by Jared Allen, as he puts up another great one to stop. Now it's back to Duncan Robinson. Jim Butler. For the tie. It's good. Jim Butler plays his game. 83-83. Oh, this is what nobody has ever spotted coming. There's only 2-11 to go in the fourth quarter. Nobody believed that Jimmy Butler made that three-pointer or more. The NBA playoffs in UK Sports is brought to you by Sour Batch Picks. Sour Sweet Gone. AT&T. Connecting changes everything. And by Brooklyn's, the official chip of the NBA. Both teams have one timeout left to go. And just coming down to 2 to go in the fourth quarter. He finds the pass. Three pointer for Garland and misses. Robinson's chance will have a lead or tie this game. Two out of bio. Over to two minutes remaining in the fourth. 
High Smith. Gives it over to Robinson. Floppy on the change here. The pass back. High Smith for three. And he misses the target. And there's a foul on the heat. Sam on by with the second. And that'll be a second team foul for Miami with a minute, minute and 47 to go. That's what's causing the problem out there. And they were not really happy enough to be surprised again. Because that keeps missing. There's no other way you can try to pick it up. And now Rogier gets it again to high spin. Over now to Rogier on the drive. It's good. Rogier finishing a drive. A different comparison between Garland and Rogier. Nearing a 90 second mark. Now it's a tie game. Oh man, we're going to be here all night. Not really sure what's going to happen, but they are really expecting that they're playing like it's a chip. Fans are, fans are beating the spot here at the Rocky Morgan Schoolhouse. The land is theirs. And now that's going to get over to the third. That's it over now to Adebayo. Adebayo, the finishing drive. It's missed. Mobley with the rebound now finds again to Garland. Garland. Finds over Mobley on a defensive attack and a mistake as Mobley back the other way. Under a minute to go in the fourth quarter. The pass back again. I spent that finding Robinson. And Butler deciding to do it again. And it goes down by one. 47.1 seconds left in the fourth. He is Garland. Chance after a shot. What a take! Mobley trying to answer it back. And now it's Roche to third. Back the airway goes to Jimmy Butler. Butler over now to Robinson. 15 seconds to shoot. Right over now to Butler. 25 seconds left. The screen puts in for Adebayo. Chance effort. Robinson for the tie! It's good! Duncan Robinson ties this game. Final timeout for Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, wow. That bucket stride already. This is like a hot hands already for the Cavaliers and the Heat. They are expecting now. They are everywhere. Crazy effort. I've never seen anybody do it like that. You know what? There's no other way. G. Butler and Dr. Robinson, they're really like pressuring him down already. I mean, they are all everywhere. They can't lose them down like that. And as we're right at this moment here, if you're ready to stick around here, as the other side of the game will be sticking in your way shortly here, we currently appreciate your support. And after the Thunders and the Wolves, it, it couldn't be done without you all. Because that is when you're going to see what's going to happen quite a lot. So, wherever this is right now, I guess you'll have a point. This is it now. Cavaliers trying to look for some win. Let's see if they can do it. For 13 seconds. Darius Garland trying to take some time. Down to nine seconds. Chance effort. A shot for the win. And he misses the shot. We are going to overtime in the fifth game at Cleveland. Oh, wow. I have no perseverance of how they're doing this. We're going to be out there all night. I think this is what the game is. It's a win to break the chain and get up in a lead. Overtime's next. Where do this? Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Right after these messages. This is overtime. 91-91 to score. We're out of here. And ready to start. This overtime recitation is brought to you by TIS at the official watch of the NBA. And we're off and ready to go. Overtime starts now. With the group, Darius Garland with LeBurn, Allen, Okoro, and Mobley. Here's Rozier with Hero, Highsmith, Adebayo, and Butler. Now as it's rolling again, Highsmith. Has it now to Hero, deep three, 
And that ain't off the ring that too soon. Here's Terry Scarlett. And Alec, a drive, misses. Up with the two. With the faint shot, takes it in. With the dunk, Jared Allen showing no sign at all. Well, you can't really mess things up here because that name is really like all first out. He now finds him again, Adebayo. Adebayo with the two, able to step back it in. It's now a tie game again. 93-93, Jimmy Bolo with the assist. Three minutes to go in overtime. Butler takes it over to Hero. And the layup in, and he's fouled. I said, cool, and it's for his torso. And a first team foul for Cleveland Cavaliers. No one knows expected. It's what happened to Isaac and Coral. He fouled it, messed up pretty badly. And that's what's causing him now. Isaac Coral, he's definitely had no other idea how that happened. But Tyler Hero, he's heading into the free throw line. Just 2.47 left to go in overtime. It's a still tie game. And this will be a chance for a lead, two point lead, if he makes two. Hero hits the first free throw. Max Struess comes on the court. That's now Cora's checked out. Back to a starting five four. Looks good for Tyler Irwin. Cavaliers will call their timeout here with 2.47 to go. And we got a quick break in action. We'll get right to you shortly, right after this. Now with the new substitutions on the court. That's right now with only 2.47 left to go in the overtime. And now Gary Scarlett back in the airway. Trying to watch his face across. Will she on it? With the cutting half, for a two, no good. And on the bio right now, he rolls it over to Rogier to third. Rogier to third, now gets it over to the bike. Pass to Jimmy Butler, for a triple, and it's missed. Levert, back the airway it goes. Butler trying to hurry out, and it's Trues, trying to watch it in. Ali Uve misses a turn, lay up, and he's fouled, got him tripped out. Heisman with the foul on the second. Oh, that pressure is not really turned to be easy enough at uh, High Smith. He's just made that one. That's the one clearly. And now we're only at the free throw line trying to get a free throw coming in. Now right now we're another free throw coming up for the Cavaliers as Evan Mobley will now try to have it up with another two free throw effort. You know how it happened? I was really noticing the same thing as it's going with the other take. But I'm going to say it now. Just like how it happened with LeBron James playing with against playing with the Heat against the Cavaliers. And this must have happened here for most of the games. And I was really stunned. All right. Not really what I was really saying. It's just what I can get to see what's going on. I was not really noticing what goes up with this. Because this one happens with every team that he knows for. He's a traitor. He has no confidence in what happens now, but he's like, oh, what do you think? I'll do that over here. Oh, uh, I mean, he went on here, well, right then, because of athletes that with LeBron James. He was first met with Miami Heat since 2013, but now 2014, he returned to Cavaliers. He definitely will get this matchup for him, too, because I mean, all the fans, the Cleveland fans, are just, um, they are like disappointed right now because LeBron James is already right there, or we went. With Miami Heat. And sometimes you don't even expect it. No. Not at all. No. I don't think so. Because this moment, this happens with one of them. And what's one of them? Well, because at this point, all the other players try to stop on LeBron James, who wasn't the, was the only rookie part of the year. But that was the only day, and he had finished it. But he's been like a runner. Get this. Good. I can't even just say now. All that happens now, I just really have no more confidence. 
hopefully, the land to meet these fires on a way to get through it. And something we have all about. We really want something scoring from the other side. So they are, I don't know, this is like we're picking a scale. Do some petitions around the court as normally here walks in. Was here trying to get off the court, but he still wants to do it. And here's another one to take care of four. Another look for Robinson. Two minutes left to go in the overtime. Bounce over now. Butler. Butler. And the layup drive. And he misses again. Chance of it right now to have a lead over. Three point R2. Spins around. Robert. Fades a shot. Trying to watch over T Max Shoes. It's stolen by Robinson. And here comes Highsmith. Over again to Robinson. For a two. And goes in. Robinson with 13 points. Passing a 90 second block at overtime. Well, it looks like a score out there. I mean, this is what the thing is. Just can't let them slow show it to you. Look at him. And Bowley makes a drive back the other way. Sorry, it's the group. Good take. And on a bio. Oh, boy. A lot of back to back switching points, switching points the other way. That must have been Bam on Ios, the number goal. I just really don't have to believe on it. I can't really say that he's really like all in pressure. They're really noticing that how is this stop going to get done? What will they do to try to deserve that? Who's here to third? Not trying to find over. Robinson. Robinson. Third two. And it goes in. Robinson's got 15 points. Now with one minute to go in overtime. Gives her a takeover for Gary Smiley. Let's get it up across. Under 50 seconds. Here's the work. The work. Trying to step it up. And for the two. It's good. Ties this game with 42 seconds. Moving around the ball. Throws it up to high spin. Now he finds the end to high spin. Double box it. Back to Rogier. Rogier passes over. A chance for a bio play. And he beats the drive. Down on ball by Cleveland Cavaliers. 21.9 seconds. Well, I was not even sure what happened with Miami. Got a great cut down. I know that you can definitely do it. And we got a quick break. Get back to you soon, too. After this. All right. This is the chance now. Both teams are tied up with 21.9 seconds left. Both teams, Miami Heat, decided to have a timeout. The pressure is in. If Miami Heat misses, and if they have a, well, a chance for the win, it will be the Cavaliers to win that game. If they miss, the Miami Heat will, will be able to make the clutch win. And if they miss, the next chance will have their timeout. And they see if they can tie this or take the lead. Here we go. The decision of the big heat is on its way and ready to find out who will have Next one will be game six, happening at the Save Center for its next game. Here we go. Let's find out who takes it. Cavaliers, chance segment, lead or tie. 20 seconds left remaining. Mitchell for three. Misses. Was she calling timeout with 15.8 seconds? Playing the clock, wind down in overtime. Well, I was not really noticing what happened now, but that was a big ruffle on the, on the play of the bend bounding. I was not really seeing anybody like doing this, but hopefully that must have been changed off exactly what they did. Yeah, no more time ever. I mean, they really have been pushing themselves out of here already. And there's a chance here. Trying to move the ball around, and this will be a personal foul on Donovan Mitchell. One foul to give for Miami. And he now finds it. On the bio, trying to roll it again. A pass over to Butler. A smashing over. 
And trying to let the ball go down, and Rozier is fouled by Terry Scarling. Now this will be a free throw coming up for the Miami Heat. 4.5 seconds, they're out of time. Yeah, there's no other way that they're going to have to try and do this anyway, because that is it. Rozier, third, they're bringing a team to go back up by three and two. Rico misses the shot, makes it in. Rogier has one more left. If he makes it, it will be all over. And he makes the second free throw. Rogier's team up ahead. After our last game failed, this is what happens now in game five. And that is it. Final score, 105 to 101. What an extension game this is. It just happened a lot. Well, finger ends, no chance, no effort. Heat are back in to win. That's what happens now. You gotta make it through, make the credits. And a chance now to send you over to play your game out. You had it going. How big did that hoop look tonight? It looked pretty big. That's what I proud myself on. My teammates kept giving me the ball, even when I didn't want the ball, telling me to score, be aggressive. We got teammates like that, they're confident through the roof. They know who their leader is, no doubt about it. Congrats on the win. All right, thanks, Sally. And that's going to wrap it up here for Game 5 in Cleveland. With Boomer along with Ballpoint Penn and Tyler, this is the presentation of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Join us here for the next part of the game as we will be seeing them on the way soon to have another appearances right on the back. Until next time. Good night in Cleveland, Ohio. All right, guys, thank you so much. And this one will bring things over here for the total statistics of the team comparison. Here's how he did. A 54% for the field goals for Cleveland Cavaliers, and it was 56 three-pointers for Miami Heat. 88% free throws for Cleveland Cavaliers, and it was eight fast break points between both teams. 66 and 10 second chance points between for the Cavaliers, and it was 38 and 39 bench points and assists for Miami Heat. 15 defensive rebounds for Cleveland and 25 defensive rebounds for Cleveland as also. With three steals, three blocks for Miami Heat, they're doing great. Three turnovers for Cleveland Cavaliers, then 14 fouls were evened up with 11 dunks for Cleveland, then 13 biggest lead for Cleveland Cavaliers, and 18.51 was a time possession. For Miami Heat, okay, just to say the way it works right now, Miami Heat, they're rolling it back in there. And they're ready to go back home in Game 6 one last time, because this will be a win or go home for Cleveland Cavaliers. So let's hope that it does it right. And now it's time for our three star players of the game. Let's see what your take is. Gangsta, y'all for you. All right, thank you so much. Time for three star players of the game as I start things over right now. All the three of them did really well, but that point effort must have took it everything with all that happened now. I started over to Evan Mobley with a one assist, 11 rebounds, and this happened to be 18 points. Seven out of 11 field goal range, just missed one three-pointer, but made one three-pointer in there with 20 performance effort and four dunks. Made that one crazy. The second star on the other side of it now has to go with a better look because the point guard did well and his assist of the game was up to early star away. 18 points, 1 rebound, 13 assists, only had 9 out of 16 field goals with 2 3 pointers made. 46 performance effort. That was the last one he has done. Great effort, great stoppage. And with the first star player of the game, that was the new balance player of the game for Darius Garland. But this time, it's Judy Butler with 26 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 5 steals, 9 out of 18 field goals, 8 three-pointers out of 12, and it was 36 performance effort. What an excellent take. All for eyes of Jimmy Butler. I think he's ready for a conference finals against the Celtics. Well, let's hope there is, because it might be what they get. And yeah, hopefully we'll see what they can do to get stoppage in the play. Hopefully! And that's going to wrap it up here, folks, for the NBA 2K Sports of the NBA Playoffs. Thanks for joining us here, and we'll see you all again here next time. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get right into bed, and man, hopefully I'll be able to like stick it up next time here for NHL and NBA Sphere 2, so probably, you know, 
Let's find out if there is. Alright, got it covered here. Gangs the Beast along with so along with me, said a beast. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports of Game 5. And with that, I'll see be seeing you all again pretty soon for game six to keep your eyes on. Now enjoy yourself and have a great night in Cleveland, Ohio. Game six, we're gonna go home next stop. Peace out! If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.